In this Hyper AI tutorial for beginners, I will show you how to use the text to video generator. Let's get started creating videos using text prompts in Hyper. First, we need to search for Hyper and I'm going to do this using Bing. You can use something else to search for Hyper. You can see it's at the top of the Bing search results right here, but just make sure it's the correct website and you will see that HTTPS semicolon forward slash forward slash in front of the website name and then hyper.ai. Let's select hyper to get started. So this will take us to the official hyper website. You can see on the main homepage, there are a few examples of videos that have been created inside the AI. And you can scroll through these to get a good idea of the different types of videos that you can create. You can see the high quality that is capable. On top of this, you can see some examples of how you can create videos using the Hyper AI. You have create video with text, animate your image, repaint your video, and more. By scrolling along, you can see more. For example, extend your video is coming soon. It's currently not available. Keep in mind, we are in the Hyper Beta. So at the moment, we're in the experimental phase of Hyper. It's not the full product at this stage, there might be updates and more. So keep that in mind. We're going to move over to create video with text. That's what we're doing in this example tutorial. So let's select this. Once this is selected, you will have some filters that will appear above where you're going to enter your prompt, your text prompt for the AI to create your video. We have old film, watercolor, cyberpunk, arcane, Lego, Blur background, Ghibli, as in Studio Ghibli, Steampunk, and Impressionism. Now we can select one of these before we enter the prompt or after. I think in this example, we should enter the prompt first. So I want a dancing man and woman turning into ice. Now this is going to be quite interesting because I'm going for an experimental approach. It's quite an open and simple prompt, but turning into ice is going to be what we're looking at because when we're doing different styles of video, this could look extremely different. For example, if we do this in a Studio Ghibli style, I'm expecting this to be slightly maybe horror-like, depending on the type of Studio Ghibli animation we have, because if, the, if they're like anything like the Studio Ghibli films that I've watched, then this will be in great detail. And that can be horrific, depending on the type of animation it chooses to do. In this case, Studio Ghibli. We also have Arcane, which of course is going to be of the arcane magic-like scenery, maybe in a castle setting. Lego, which is literally going to be, what it says on the tin, a Lego animation. In this example, let's select something that I'm not quite sure it's going to create. Let's go for Cyberpunk, being extremely experimental. This has now entered a filter, if you will, on the end of our prompt. It says, cyberpunk style, high tech city, mechanical enhancement, high tech fantasy, robotics, Blade Runner 2049. So that's what it's added as its cyberpunk filter for our original prompt. I have no idea what this is going to look like once it's completed. We also have two other things on the end of our prompt here. We have this eye icon, if we press that, you can see that you can create in public. The video might be shown on the Explore. So the Explore tab that we've just been looking at, that spotlight, the video might be shown there. And you also have this filter option where you can change the type of video that we are creating. For example, we can change the resolution of the video from nine by 16, which is that vertical video type that you usually see on Reels, Instagram Reels, TikTok or YouTube Shorts. You have a slightly smaller version by three by four. You have a square version, which is usually used for social media posting, one by one. A four by three, which is a smaller version of 16 by nine, which is a full screen video that you usually get for an example, YouTube. And then a 21 by nine, which is that widescreen letterbox viewing experience. So when you select one of these, it's going to create your video using those resolutions. In this example, we're gonna use 16 by nine. I want to see a full rectangular video. You also have the duration that you can use right here. For example, two seconds or four seconds. 
as we're doing this for beginners, I'm not going to dive into anything to do with seed, but you can see that you can copy something in here. We're not going to do that in this example. Instead, we're going to make this video four seconds. Of course, with the longer length video that you create, it will take longer for the AI to process, render and export it so you can see it. Let's jump in and let's see what the AI creates in this example with the filter applied to the prompt that we've entered in the text prompt box right here. Let's go. Create. Let's see what the AI creates in Hyper when we've entered this prompt with these settings. Looking forward to it. So as you can see, this is taking a little bit of time due to the fact there might be others creating on the Hyper network. And of course, because we're doing something fairly complex and it's currently in the beta. So this may change. It might start creating a bit faster later on when it's developed a bit further. So as you can see, our video has been rendered and exported, but we haven't exported it to our device, but we can preview it. And there are a few options currently available. You can see that we have our prompt still at the top of the screen here. And if I hover over it, you can see more of what was written. We have a regenerate very prompt so we can change the prompt entirely regenerate of course will give us another version of the video that we're about to have a look at repaint which of course might change the colors or the tone of the video itself because we're using a animation in this example and more options we can also give this a thumbs up or thumbs down of course that's going to be to do with the community as well when you're sharing it publicly you can like it download it and share it. There is also a thumbnail which currently isn't loading and it looks like a square type of thumbnail available with the date that it was created. So let's first preview our video to see what we have. We're actually in creation mode. Let's preview. It's four seconds long. Would you look at that? So it's a lady and a man dancing, turning to ice and we have a four second video right there. Let's have another look at the finished piece. Absolutely amazing. Let's give that a download. Although it's a quick video of only four seconds, I think you should have a closer look. So let's try a few different things. Let's go and try to regenerate to show you what that does. Regenerate a new video with the same input. So without changing anything, we're going to regenerate to see if we get a different result. Of course, that had mainly blue hues, blue colors, and were quite cold because we were turning to ice. Our characters were turning to ice. Now let's have a look with a different version of it to see what the AI is going to create with a second chance. So the regeneration is complete. Let's see if we have a different result in this version. So there's a slight difference in our lady. She's got more ice around her legs in this one as opposed to it being whisked away from the other side. So there is a slight difference that we can see. Also, the ice seems to have a bit of a shape to it. Let's give this one a download as well, just so we have the two versions. So now let's go into the other options that are available. We also have a very prompt. This is where we're going to make a complete different video basically by adding more or changing its style. So let's select very prompt. So at this point, we still have that filter, that cyberpunk filter here. So why don't we change fire ice to fire? <laughs> let's change ice to fire to see the different results that we can get by changing one single word in this prompt. Let's generate to have a look. And here is our second version of the image. Now it does look very similar. So hopefully that change has taken place. Let's press play on this version. So it looks like they were pretty static in that version. It looks like there might have been an issue with that creation. So I probably would advise you to take the prompt, do something similar, but go back into the original prompt window. As you can see right there, we varied with the prompt looking for fire, but it stuck with the ice and made the image static. So the video is fairly static there, but at least we've given it a try to show you that you might want to go back to the original prompt right here in order to create the next video. So we're going to do that right now. We're going to use a different style. So let's take the same prompt, the same original prompt at the beginning, turning into fire, go back to the main prompt window, paste it in. And instead 
of what did we select for the first one was it cyberpunk instead of cyberpunk let's go for ghibli so studio ghibli style anima animation much like spirited away howling moving castle and that sort of animation let's see what this looks like this is going to be really cool let's create let's have a look at this result with a different style studio ghibli style absolutely amazing let's give that a download so you can have a look in full screen so that was the studio ghibli version of the prompt that we've just created a video out of a dancing man and woman turning into fire so we have our first prompt the same prompt that has been varied and then the third prompt which is an entirely new generation that we've entered into the prompt window and of course used a new style so once everything is loaded properly you'll be able to see those previews of your videos that you have created with text prompts and you can also go back into that text prompt to see exactly what you wrote or what was written in the prompt to get that result and you can see that right here and at what resolution and seed so that seed that i mentioned earlier on you can see right here but fairly complicated for beginners not something you want to have a look at right now unless we're doing something fairly advanced or if you have some previous knowledge of how that works when generating your videos in this way on the hyper ai website you can also have a look at the explore tab which you can find right here to have a look at some more examples to give you maybe some inspiration when creating your videos using text prompts on hyper ai so what happens when we do an open prompt a prompt that does not have a filter let's give this a go so i'm going to enter a prompt right here without entering one of the art filters let's see what it creates so i want a man giving a woman a flower i'm going to do that without entering any of these filters let's see what is created with this very simple prompt remember the more nouns you use or the more adjectives you use to describe what's happening in your video using a text prompt the better the result when creating with ai when using a text prompt so in this example i've kept it fairly simple quite open not too much description to show you the power of the ai when creating in this way i'm not going to give the filters we're going to go right here into these slight little changes that we can make for our video in this example i'm going to go for a 9 by 16 a vertical video at four seconds let's create this video to see what it does so as you can see we're currently stuck on 97 percent we're using the harper ai to create our video using a simple prompt but we wanted to show you this just in case you're having the same issues now we've done this without using any filters for our prompt so you might face this issue as well remember that hyper is currently in its beta form so it's not fully complete just yet so this might happen to you but in the case that it does don't lose your heart make sure that you stay strong and create using another prompt and that's what we're going to do right now to see if we can create on top of the one that is frozen so i'm going to go down to the bottom here and what i'm going to do is i'm going to create the same same prompt a man a man giving a woman a flower let's see if we can get this prompt created with the same filters the difference that we did is we selected a 9 by 16 and made it four seconds let's make it two seconds it will export quicker let's give this a go see if we can get this done and see what it does We've gone for a new generation but as we have you can see that the one above is actually complete so that's brilliant timing so if we have a look at this finished piece right now it has a specific style so let's take a look it's four seconds let's go i'm not sure she was happy about the flower it looks like he had to disappear so let's play this again to have another look did he hit her i'm not sure I'm not she doesn't look happy so we're gonna <laughs> we're gonna download this one because i think the ai was saying that she did not like the flower but it's a very interesting reaction to the flower i'm not sure if he hit her he disappeared became ink i'm not sure but you can see that it's actually in a high frames per second so i'm not sure what frame per second that's in let's play this again because it looks very very sharp let's get it into that full screen and let's have a look It's a very artistic style approach right there. It looks quite nice, if I don't say so myself. Look at that. So you can see that the action takes place. He disappears. That flower grows. 
There's quite a little bit of movement there, but something did happen with the creation of the video. That's a very interesting video, to say the least. Let's see what happens with our last one that should come through right at the very end here. We have one last one that we're going to show you to see if it creates a completely different style video as we've used the same prompt, but of course, with no filters. Now, let's keep in mind that this could be an internet issue as well, as it's begun to rain outside and sometimes the internet can be interrupted. So currently, while I'm creating these video creations, at this current moment in time, we've just had some huge torrential rain. So that might be one of the causes as to why it's not rendering or processing as quick, but that might not be the case. So we've gone through that process as well for you so that when you're creating using the software, we're using Harper AI, you know that this could happen to you as well. But you saw that when we went for another prompt, the last one would complete. So I don't know if that's because we pushed it forward using a prompt or because the time or because it was ready. Once again, we're on 97%. Let's see what this creates. Looks like our video is complete. Let's have a look at the final piece here. Same prompt, different timing, and without any filters applied. Let's have a look. Wow, it was like an old 50s movie. Check that out. In black and white, there's a very short video there. Man giving a woman a flower. And it looks like the same man and woman, if I'm not mistaken. The AI is creating the same sort of man and woman for the videos right there. That's just maybe the way the AI is thinking. And this is how you can create a video using text prompts in Hyper AI. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to the Mr. Money YouTube channel for more. Thank you for watching.